Crowd starting to sense victory. Pierce. A minute remaining. James puts his head down, drives, lots of contact. Bosch up top, Chalmers, Ray Allen, Wade, right corner three, it's good. Five point game with 50 seconds remaining. It has been a fun crowd, a sellout crowd here at the Barkley Center. Again, the expectations so high for this team. They all feel they've got a chance to win a championship. What a better way to start it on the home floor than to defeat the two time defending champs. Can they hold on here? Seven straight points. Have them still alive. Allen Anderson stays in the game. Wade on Williams now. Garnett being guarded by Wade on the switch. Garnett turns in the paint. Double clutches, misses, rebound. Garnett had it, lost it, picked up by James. James throws it off the head of Anderson. Allen now up top to Chalmers. 22 seconds. James up top, Chalmers puts up a three. Puts it in, Chalmers from downtown. And it's a two-point game. Timeout, Brooklyn. Brooklyn has one timeout left. Pierce is going to be inbounding. And this is where a lot of times at the end of an NBA game, anything goes. Illegal screens, holding cutters. Joe Prunte filling in for Jason Kidd. Has watched Miami go on a 10-0 run. And Williams fouled immediately by Chalmers. So Williams will go to the free throw line for the first time. They've missed 11 free throws tonight. Darren Williams for his career, an excellent free throw shooter, including last year when he was 86% for his career, 82%. First trip tonight. Miami still alive. Heat still have a 20 second timeout remaining. LeBron James, I think, telling Dwayne Wade, you have Williams boxing out on the free throw. And Williams sinks back. All right, now if you're Brooklyn, do you foul? No, I wouldn't unless it gets below eight. But Miami doesn't have to take a three. Chalmers pulls back. Eight seconds to go. And a foul on Allen Anderson, trying to deny Ray Allen. So Ray Allen will go to the line and shoot two with 7.9 remaining. But I think it works out well. It works out well for Brooklyn. They took 10 seconds off the clock. And they're now not going to get a chance to shoot it. Right. So, all right, 7.9, you still have a timeout left. You have Ray Allen hit these free throws, right? Make it a one-point game, and then make Brooklyn hit some more free throws? Exactly. Darren Williams just split. Too early for Ray Allen to deliberately miss. Oh, absolutely. I don't think he could even be tried. <laughs> Brooke Lopez will come in. For Allen Anderson. Ray Allen, three for three from the line. One of the premier free throw shooters in the history of the NBA. Fifth all time in free throw percentage. Misses the second. Pierce the rebound and he's fouled right away. He was not deliberately trying to miss that. Right away, as soon as he released it, you can see that face. So now Pierce with a chance to put Brooklyn up by four. 
Pierce is six for six from the line tonight. He's always been a clutch free throw shooter. Lead back up to three. Haslam checks in for Ray Allen. That's to secure the rebound with Lopez there. Again, Miami still with a 20 second timeout left. And they're obviously going to take the timeout now by inserting Haslam in case there's a possible rebound. Four point lead. Miami uses its final timeout as Paul Pierce caps off an excellent second half and gives Brooklyn a little breathing room. Wade will inbound with James, Ray Allen, Chalmers, and Bosch. All five capable of taking threes, but it's more important to score quickly here. Trying to get Wade. They get James. James left corner three. It's good. James hits it with 4.7 remaining, and it's back to one. Don't call a delay a game, please. Timeout called by Brooklyn. That's what the that's what the Nets were hoping for. The delay of game that we've seen called over and over again as they try and stop players from redirecting the ball once it goes through the basket. And I think David Jones using very good common sense there. Exactly. And a terrific three-point shot attempt by James. Misdirection with Allen. Well defended, but that is just a difficult <laughs> shot. And now you still have a chance to win the game. And neither team has a timeout. Johnson gets it and immediately fouled by Wade with 3.7 remaining. So even if Johnson hits both of these and puts Brooklyn up by three, Miami has a chance to get off a pretty decent shot despite the fact that they have to go the length of the floor. Well, Johnson's hit some clutch threes here in the fourth quarter. Now a chance to put his team up by three at the line. Question people always ask is if Johnson makes this one, should he try to miss the second one? I say no. You go up three, and the worst possible thing you can do is go into overtime. All right, Jeff, how about if he hits this? Now, if you're Brooklyn, do you foul as soon as they inbound whoever catches the first inbounds? Yes, but you have to make sure if they're facing the basket that they're not getting into the shooting motion. Two clutch shots there. They're Miami gonna out of timeouts. Run. They're going to throw a home run. Chalmers looking. Gets it into Bosch, and Bosch fouled by Garnett. And it, the way it appeared there, Garnett did that deliberately, and that's a smart, smart foul. I agree. I think that's an outstanding foul. Sound strategy. And now Bosch. He basically has to well, try and hit one and miss one. the second. Right. See, and it's easier to do those fouls, Mike, to prevent the three when the pass receiver has his back to the basket. Again, the key here is Bosch has to hit the first one. Do teams practice this? Did you ever practice a missed free throw to try and get the rebound? No, I think you talked about in this situation where you want the ball to hit. And certainly you're trying to get it to go off to the side. And, and LeBron James is going to try to time up his run from half court. And he puts it in. He was trying to miss that. And it goes in. Pierce gets it, throws it ahead, and the game is over. And Brooklyn wins their home opener. How about that? Bosch trying to miss the free throw. It goes in. And the Nets hang on to defeat LeBron James and the Miami Heat.